Morning guys. It is my first glasses free meal prep and I'm wigging out. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you know that I got LASIK this past week and my whole world is different. It's kind of crazy. So I haven't really noticed a difference because everywhere I go, I'm used to seeing with my glasses. I know that's kind of weird, but one place that I go that I'm used to not seeing is the gym because when I work out, I don't like to wear glasses or contacts or anything. So I'm on my way to the gym and I really just want to know what it feels like to be able to be on the treadmill, but like see the TVs, you know? I'm so nervous, I don't know. Okay, so last week my barbecue bacon ground beef was good, but like I want a real hamburger. Like I want a patty and I wanna hold something and bite into it. So I found this hamburger bun slash roll recipe that I tried out this past Friday and holy crap, it changed my life. So I'm making burgers again just so I can use those buns. So I'm gonna make burgers, but now I have to figure out do I want eggs or do I want salad? So do I want breakfast or do I want uh, not breakfast? So that's what I'll be thinking about when I get to the store and that's all I got. Let's go. Starting off the meal prep with roasted broccoli. I just took some chopped bagged broccoli, putting it on my roasting pan, adding six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, heavy dose of salt and pepper, and I'm gonna put that in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Next, I am making sausage patties for breakfast. So I just took the sausage and I split it up into six portions to make large patties. Here come the rolls. So I'm starting by using three quarters cup of almond flour and one quarter cup of coconut flour. After I sift that together, I do a quarter cup of flax meal and a sixth of a cup of psyllium husk. I order this off Amazon if you don't know where to get it. Next, one tablespoon of baking powder, or excuse me, teaspoon, a teaspoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of onion powder and some salt and mix it together. For the wet ingredients, it's just three egg whites and one whole egg. Next, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and you just mix that together and add it to the dry ingredients. After it starts to combine, you want to add up to a cup of warm water. This is what a cup looks like. Once you mix it, it starts to get thicker and thicker. Now I just spoon out six portions onto my baking sheet and shape them into rolls or buns. Next, 
I'll cover them with sesame seeds and place them in the oven at 350 for an hour. And I'll take with me the memory To bring my sunshine and the rain It's so hard to say goodbye to today Next, I decided to go with eggs, so this is me attempting to make omelets. Yeah, you're gonna see how that turned out. Lunch break. Nothing a little Atkins bar and Instagram can't cure. Next, I'm putting some bacon in the oven for my bacon cheeseburgers this week. This is me making the burger for my bacon cheeseburger. It's two pounds of 80-20, and I just used some crushed red pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of chili powder with some salt. Divided that up into six patties and got that on the stove. Here I am cutting up the world's largest jalapeno for my burgers and thinly slicing red onion for my burger. Finally, I just got in the mood to make some gummy bears. I just bought a gummy bear mold off of Amazon. So I mix one small packet of sugar-free Jello with one packet of gelatin and a third cup of water and put those into my gummy bear molds and pop those in the fridge. Okay guys, it is almost 4.30 and I am done with meal prep. I feel like I did a lot today, so let's take a look. Okay guys, so full confession, I cannot make omelets at all. Like, I just have zero idea how to make omelets. So I was trying to make omelets, but it kind of just turned into like scramble. So I got eggs, I decided to go with eggs. Over on the meat platter we have here, uh, that middle row is actually the sausage that I cooked up. And then this back row here are my burgers, which came out awesome. Oh, speaking of came out awesome, look at these buns, you guys, woo! I got this recipe a couple days ago from the Banting King. I think that's who he is on YouTube. But I whipped those things up and they are so good with butter. And now I'm about to have them as a hamburger. I've been really wanting to just bite into a burger and not have to knife and fork it. And I'm definitely spending the carbs on those. We got bacon for my burger and we have onion and jalapeno for my burger. And you saw me whip up some gummies just because I wanted to because gummies. And so here are the green ones and I have some red ones and yellow ones in the refrigerator. They're so cute and they're so good and they're so tart. I didn't realize how much I missed the sour flavor until I had these and I was just like, oh my goodness. Sour! 
so good. Mm, I think that's it. We're shooting the podcast tomorrow, so like, I'm off for the day. I should do some cleaning, but I know I'll definitely do some TV watching before I pick that up. Mm. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment. Let me know. Have you ever made keto rolls, how they turn out? Have you made keto gummies? How did those turn out? They're so good. Don't forget to ding the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post new videos. You can also find me on Instagram at watchautumnketo. Thanks, and I will catch you next week.